Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, uh, we will uh, solve a problems about how to uh, draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. Uh, so we will start uh, with um, a very simple problem. Uh, a cantilever beam. with a point load by the end called P and the length of this beam is L and the required is draw shear and bending diagrams Okay, so we will divide our work into three main steps. Step number one calculate the support reaction. This is the first step and it will be always the first step for any beam. So this is a beam and you have the point load B and has a length L and you have a fixed support and you know the fixed support has three support reactions one in the x direction fx one in the y direction fy and and moment m around the z direction okay and then you will solve the equation of equilibrium which are equations of in the 2d case so you have submission fx equals 0 submission fy equals 0 and submission moment about z equal 0 right and these are the three main equation of equilibrium in the 2D problems okay so first if we solve it the summation fx equals 0 this will give us that fx equals 0 right so this fx is equal to 0 and then summation fy equals 0 this will give us fy is pointing upward so it is positive and the p is pointing downward so it is negative so minus p and this will be equal to zero and this means <coughs> excuse me fy equals p And then for the moment, summation moment about the z equals zero, this means you have mz here. And if you, we are taking the moment about this point, so you have the moment of the point load as p times L okay so take the moment by taking the moment about the fixed 
support point that means you have mz and mz is positive or negative yes you're right it is positive because it is counterclockwise so it moves counterclockwise so that's why it is positive and then uh, the p the force p times l rotating around this point in the clockwise direction so it will be negative moment so negative p times l this will sh this should be equal to zero and that means m z is equal to p l okay now we did the first step we calculated the support reactions then let's move to the second step which is calculate the uh, shear and moment functions okay step two calculate shear and moment functions how can we do this before starting this i i, I wanna remind you by the sign convention so the sign convention says that sign convention so the sign convention says if you if you have a beam like this and then you will do a cut in this beam and split it into two parts this is the left part and this is the right part okay the positive shear and moment will be like on the left side the shear will be downward and the right side the shear will be upward this is, these are the positive directions for the shear force in both sides the left side and the right side and you know we are using v as the symbol of uh, shear okay and what about the moment so the moment will be counter clockwise on the left side and clockwise in the right side okay these are the positive directions for both shear and moment okay let's see how we will apply this to the beam we have right now okay so the beam we have is like this we have this beam and it is a cantilever beam but now we calculated the uh, support reactions so we have the concentrated load or the point load p and the support reactions here are p in the y <coughs> in the y direction upward and mz it was counterclockwise moment like this and p l its magnitude is p l okay and you know the length is l okay so let's do the the cut in the beam let's cut the beam from here 
it will not be uh, different if we cut the beam from the middle, from the beginning, from the end, from any location between the starting point on the left to the ending point on the right. And this is exactly what I mean. The starting point is on the left and the ending point is on the right. That means we are measuring the length from the left. So X indicates for the length starting from the left. Okay. So let's see what will happen if we cut the beam from this point. So we have the left side. Sorry, should use orange. This is the left side. And this is the support action P. And the moment P L. And this is X. Right. And as we agreed in the sign convention, the shear will be V downward and the moment will be counterclockwise. Okay. Okay, now we will solve again the equation of equilibrium. Then solve the equations of equilibrium. Submission fx equals zero, submission fy equals zero, submission moment about z equals zero. Okay, to find both equations for V and M. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. The summation fx equals zero will not give anything in this case because we don't have any forces in the x direction. And uh, let's start summation fy equals zero. This means the p, this p, is pointing upward, so it is positive. And in this case, the v the shear force is pointing downward, so it will be negative. So P minus V, okay, this will give us zero. That means V equals P. Okay, this is the value of shear force. <coughs> Excuse me. And then <coughs> submission M Z equals zero. Moment about the Z direction equals zero. This would be let's take the moment about the this point and I always recommend to take the moment about this point for a reason. Uh, if you if you want to take the moment about this point, the beginning point of the beam, you have to consider the shear that you just calculated. And if you did any mistake in calculating the shear, this will let you make another mistake in calculating the moment. Okay, so 
the better, uh, the better way that I prefer is to calculate the moment about the, the cut section or the cut point. This is the cut point, the point that we did the cut. Uh, so, if you are going to take the moment at this point, you will not consider the shear force that you, you just calculated in the equation of the moment because this point pathing is wrong, uh, the point that you are taking the moment around. Uh, so, I prefer always to take the moment at the point of the cut okay so summation moment equals zero um, by taking the moment about the cut point okay so you have at this point you have m this m that we are looking for to calculate and this m is counterclockwise so it is positive so you have m and m is positive and then you have pl this pl right and this is positive as well and this moment is a is a concentrated moment at this point at the beginning of the beam and this will affect the the whole beam okay so this pl is positive as well and then this p the point load P for the support reaction in the Y direction it will be multiplied by the length X and it has a negative sign because it is clockwise okay and this should be equal to zero okay that means M is equal to P, PX minus PL or in other words M is equal to PX minus L okay these are the two equations. Oops, I need to add parentheses here. Uh, these are the two equations for both moment and shear. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the third step is to do the plot, or sorry, draw. So plotting is means you need to know every point on the uh, figure. But we just doing a draw, that means sketch, uh, freehand sketch, by knowing the starting point, the ending point of each part of the shear force and the bending moment diagram. <coughs> so, okay, so step three. Draw the shear force and bending moment diagram okay so i recommend also while doing this to have the beam Another axis to 
Tron the Shear and another artist to draw the moment. This is for the Shear V and this is for the moment M. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to the equations. So the shear force is equal to B in all of the cases. So we'll go to draw V equals B and positive B. So that means the, this is a positive. Sorry. This is a, oops. This is a positive shear and this is a negative shear and this is a positive moment and this is a negative moment. So positive shear means we will have it here and constant value equals P and usually we do it like this to make it clear. And for the moment, it is uh, P times X minus L. And X is varying from 0 to L. Right? X is varying from 0 to L. If X equal equals 0, that means the moment is negative PL. Okay, so negative PL, let's say it will be right here. This is negative PL. In case of X equal 0. X equal 0 here. This is X equal 0. X equal 0. Here is X equals L. Okay. So, x equals 0, the moment will be negative, uh, negative PL, and then x equals uh, L, that means the moment equals 0. So, here is the 0, and then we will join these two points by straight line, and this should be the bending moment diagram. Okay, uh, that's it. So you have the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. Uh, this is supposed to be a very simple uh, problem, very simple example. Uh, we will go through uh, different examples in the next videos. Uh, thank you for watching.